Okay. Let us go to the last story of the day. And I decided to save the best for last because it is the best, I think. So we, I'm an MCU fan. I think most people out there are MCU fans. And we just got some huge news today about one of the upcoming films of Phase 6. And that's Fantastic Four. Fantastic Four is one of those movies that everybody's like, why don't they make Fantastic Four? Why don't they make Fantastic Four? And Kevin Feige has said for years that he had a plan of bringing in the Fantastic Four when he was ready. And a part of it, too, was the rights issue. Okay, they bought Fox and they couldn't use, you know, that Fantastic Four. So, of course, we got that debacle of a of a film a couple of years ago with uh, Michael B. Jordan and a couple others. So, according to Ho- Hollywood Reporter, okay, the Fantastic Four gets a new writer with Avatar Two script script writer Josh Freeman. Marvel's first family is getting a rewrite. Josh Freeman, who's worked on Avatar The Way of Water and developed Snowpiercer as a TNT television series, has been tapped to write Mar- the script for Marvel Studios Fantastic Four. Matt Sharkman, who is the key director behind Marvel's series WandaVision, is on board to helm the, the feature that has a release date of fe- February 14, 2025, and is set to kick off Phase 6 of the storytelling universe. Fantastic Four was the heroic team that introduced readers and the world at large to the Marvel comics and ushered in the Marvel Age as a self-generated hype machine described in the 1960s. Written by editor Stan Lee and drawn by Jack Kirby, Fantastic Four number one brought forth Reed Richards as scientists dedicated to his work and unafraid to push the boundaries of science. Sue Storm, his girlfriend turned wife, Johnny Storm, Sue's hot-headed brother, and Ben Grimm, Richard's beefy best friend. After an unauthorized trip to space and eradicated them with cosmic rays, they became heroes, Mr. Fantastic, Invisible Woman, the Human Torch, and The Thing, respectively. Jeff Kaplan and Ian Springer were the previous writers of the project, and Freeman's hire signals a potential change in tone. Kaplan and Springer are known for their comic scripts. Among the works, they have development in the Rebel Wilson comedy K-Pop and Disaster Wedding. Uh, Freeman, on the other hand, is a veteran, is a veteran, excuse me, <laughs> Freeman, on the other hand, is a veteran of the science fiction genre. He co-wrote War of the, War of the Worlds, the Steven Spielberg, Tom Cruise update on the H.G. Wells classic, then acted as a writer and creator of Terminator, the Sarah Connors stories, Chronicles, the Terminator that served from the first foray of um, James Cameron's films. He would then go on to work on Dark Fate before he then got into the Avatar franchise. So let's talk about this. I think that this is a great um, thing. I think that they're actually going a different way is really good. I think the fact that they're actually going to make this more scientific or sciencey. I think that their writers do have a tendency. Um, it, I mean, they have good comedy. If, if comedy is one of those things where if it's placed in the right spot, it can be really good. It can be really, really good. And so I have no doubt that they can do that here. And since Josh is actually a veteran of science fiction, um, I think he knows the world a little bit. So, as I said before, this is the the beginning of the Phase 6. And this is what Phase 6 looks like. And it's going to be a huge phase. I mean, you've got Fantastic Four. You've got Avengers Secret Wars. You've got, you know, Wonder Man, which, by the way, I have a friend. I'm not going to name anybody, but I have a friend that's working on Wonder Man. And when that we get closer to the release date and all that stuff, um, I will bring him on and we'll talk about, you know, what his role was in it and everything else. Uh, Deadpool 3. And of course, later on down the line, you have um, the Kang Dynasty. So I think this is going to be really fun. And if this is a good, good film, like I think it's going to be and hope it is, 
this is going to be the best one of the best starting pictures, best starting films of any of the phases. So I'm hoping it's good. I really do. So, and who knows? You know, you might even see a sequel down the road. So, yeah, that's that's about it. 